Hello! Today is a speed paint of a character named Freya. She is actually from essentially a D&D campaign that no longer plays anymore, but my fiancé was the DM so we still make characters for it and still talk about it, etc. The whole concept behind it was that it's essentially a magical college. <laughs> I mean, I say magical, you don't have to be magical, but it's like the best way to describe it. But essentially, people will go train there to become better at their craft. Freya, in particular, is a cleric. She prays to a god that is homebrew for this campaign named Ferex, and he is a god of savagery. Now in the world there's hot debate on how exactly you parse that out and what you decide <laughs> as far as all that goes, but... concept behind this doodle is, again, she's at this school and me and my fiance made a joke about, you know, what if they had to work stupid ass part-time jobs to be able to afford shit because they're not actually adventuring because they're at this school, but you still need magical items and gear and armor and etc. Now originally it was just this one big doodle, but I was having a lot of fun and didn't want to just do that one, so the big piece, the big one, was actually a, a traditional doodle I had done for my fiancé's lunch that I pack him and I always give him a little drawing. She's from there. Um, the rest of them were all drawn as little digital sketches to just keep having fun drawing out the character. <laughs> is just kind of a creepy little weirdo. There's no better way to put it. She just often creeps people out because she just has bulgy eyes and she'll just be staring at people and she doesn't really know how to talk to people very well. Uh, her tribe that she's from did not treat her very well because she's from shifter culture or beastmen as they were called in this particular homebrew campaign and you know, she's a prey animal she's a cleric just things you know things didn't work out genetically for her and she was very sickly too <music> All these doodles were a lot of fun being able to actually make Freya a little more expressive because I have drawn her but I've mostly drawn her in like character stills as like a point of reference because she was originally drawn for the campaign proper as just like a reference point for if any PCs wanted to talk to her she would have an actual appearance so she wouldn't just be a blob that everybody had to uh, visualize. <laughs> Um, and then from there, I revamped her outfit a little bit later on, post-campaign, and I just came to really like her, so. Actually, there are two other beastmen in her class, but she doesn't like either of them. One of them is a sheep girl named Cole, who Freya specifically does not like because of, you know, 
internalized self-loathing and not liking uh, another prey animal and kind of just trying to differentiate herself. That whole thing. And the other beastman is from a very controversial tribe as far as the beastman culture goes. The way it worked in our campaign was beastmen, there are always rumors about weird, nasty stuff, but realistically they are just like the spiritual embodiments of whatever animal. And they just take on physical characteristics from there. It's just from birth, uh, essentially. They don't have to act exactly like the animal, they are still their own people and can do whatever they want, but they just have that spiritual essence. Whereas the other girl is from a tribe in which specifically to appease Ferrix, who a lot of uh, beastmen worship, to increase their savagery they bred with um, monsters, abominations, monstrosities. Anything in that category as far as D&D goes. So Freya just kind of views her fellow compatriot as gross. It's actually fun because Freya has a character who she ends up spending a lot of time with named Hogriff. Who, and yes that name is gross, it's gross on purpose. <laughs> You can actually see him whenever I flip back and forth to get color swatches for Freya. <laughs> you can actually see him. But they spend a lot of time together and they get off on the wrong foot because he's very rude to her and actively hates her and thinks she's kind of gross. So she's mean back to him. And they have a fun dynamic because we wanted essentially for two bullies essentially. Like, Freya's a little more in the right often, but she can also be a bit of a bitch and is also really rude to people and oftentimes is very rude to Hogriff. <laughs> so their dynamic is usually fairly interesting to play with. Just two people being awful to each other. Which listen, in a fictional setting, I actually do like. I, I do like assholes as far as fiction goes. Now in real life, I have negative tolerance for any of that, and I am engaged to one of the nicest people I have ever met. <laughs> Drawing all her little bunny splotches were fun, giving her nice patterning and everything. I tried to keep them fairly consistent, and to the best of my knowledge, I mostly did. Also was interesting doing the little uh, splotches because I had to figure out how I wanted to do it digitally because I didn't want them to be too uniform because then it starts to look odd but I'm, I was used to doing them with marker to where I can kind of just like slap down some color and it can look a little more haphazard on purpose with marker whereas digital sometimes trying to do things messily it just feels like it still looks like it has way too much intention behind it. With the shading, you will see me doing purple. I do change that because I didn't like how it looked. I wanted the big piece to have much crisper lines and everything to look a little more polished while the three side ones were literally more just very fast doodles to get a feeling and a vibe of 
how she emotes, how she expresses, what she looks like. I will say, the speed paint ended up being long, and oh my god, I had to cut out so much. <laughs> a lot of it was probably just going to get very repetitive, because it was just me doing the same exact thing to each and every one of the doodles. And I know I mention a lot in my videos of things being repetitive, but it's just because I have actual diagnosed ADHD, so... <laughs> Everything feels like it's too repetitive and long for me. cool thing about Freya was the way her magic system essentially worked is she is a cleric who will take damage and that is uh, essentially her reservoir to heal with. So the more damage she takes, the better she is at her cleric job. <laughs> Which did lead to unfortunate things in her youth. It was essentially, um, well we need to be healed so you're good being a punching bag, right? Right, we thought so. Oh, you, you don't want to be a punching bag? Mm. Then I guess you'll starve until you actually do something. How about that? So, she she got a bit of a, a chip on her shoulder and um, can be a hateful little creature. <laughs> but that's just kind of par for the course for one of my characters. I love <laughs> hateful girls. <laughs> Again, only in fiction, though. <laughs> Shit that is cute in fiction is not cute when you're having to talk to, like, a fully grown-ass adult.
whatever reason, doing all the shading on her little pill beans was so fun. Just like a very circular shape, I think. And they look, they look soft. Just more room with them. That was a hands down my favorite of the set, I think, is the one of her uh, flipping a baseball pancake. <laughs> Just like that, that one has a, a little bit more movement to it. Don't think too much about the logistics of a sports cafe in a D&D setting. It's just for the best. This is literally just uh, ridiculous fun. <laughs> Plus gives me different outfits to doodle the girls in. <laughs> that's, a, that's about the extent of the uh, thought process going into that. <laughs> also makes negative sense that I drew, but <laughs> I just wanted it to be as silly as it could be. Just a go full hog, I guess, with the concept. <laughs> not, I'm not even sure what the baseballs are supposed to be. I mean, because like, I think in my head it was like, oh, like a mashed potato or something. But there's mashed potatoes like right next to all that. So it's clearly not what I was going for when I sketched it. <laughs> or maybe it was, but it still don't make no sense. So we're gonna we're gonna say like a roll, maybe? Cupcake donut hole. Insert anything here. I ain't a big food guy, so I'll admit, not my speciality. But, as I start doing this process, we are coming up on the end, just brightening up the colors and adding that screen over top, and that's all. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!